And what do you expect from the event? Um, well, actually, um, I didn't know what to expect from the event, and uh, I answered quite simply before I got invited, but also I did read what the event was about, and I was very interested in the topic, the idea of the future, uh, what's going to happen with the future, what are the emerging issues, and how are they going to be dealt with. Uh, that was very interesting for me, and I'm expecting to hear some very dynamic and inspiring answers to that very question. So to get to exactly that question, if you can say it in one word, what would be like the most important issue of the future? I think, uh, if I may, I would like to say two things that I find are very important for the future. One is um, focus on children and young people, because they are our future, and on making sure that they can actually uh, realize their potential as being the capacity for making the future a better place. And the other thing I would say is the fact that we are now a global community and that we're interdependent and that we need to focus on the fact that this inter interdependency is not going to go away and we need to start respecting it and working accordingly to have um, combined objectives that are going to make the place a better place for the future, our young people to live in. You personally, in your life, <coughs> what do you strive for to achieve that? Um, what I personally strive for in my life is really to make a difference mm -hmm. and to make a difference um, for my own personal life but also for the young people and the children that I work for and for my family and for me making a difference means uh, sharing and giving and if I can do that and achieve the best for all of those that I've just mentioned I feel that I would have made a, a good contribution. What motivates you? I'm driven. I can't even say what motivates me. I'm just driven. I know it's what I've got to do because I know I have something to give and I don't see any reason why I shouldn't. And I, I don't even see myself not being able to give. I'm just driven by the fact that I know that I can make a difference. And I'm not special. Everybody can. And I wish everybody was as driven as I was. And that's not saying that I will make the best kind of difference. I'm sure I make a lot of mistakes along the way. But if everybody were driven to make a difference, we would have a much better world today. What would that mean if everybody's driven to make a change? What would people have to do for it? I think you have to be passionate about trying to make a difference. When I say make a difference, I'm talking about positive difference. We're very aware, somebody said it in one of the sessions I went in, that we're very knowledgeable about the problems that we have, but we don't act collectively. So people are aware there's certain things that need to change. We need to be different in our lives to make an improvement on, on the world that we live in. But we're very passive. And making that difference and being driven is to say, I'm not going to be passive. I'm, I am the change. I am the future. And if I don't do anything, the, the future doesn't change. Nothing happens. And that's where I say we've got to be driven. Because in actual fact, it's inevitable. We have no choice. If we want to make a difference, we have to do something about the, the, the current status quo. What do you think? Will the world in the future be a better place? I'm optimistic. I think it will be because inevitably with globalization, which is happening anyway, whether we like it or not, and with the fact that young people are challenging this basic status quo, it's going to have to be different. Because you talk of the Arab Spring, you talk of what's happening in Italy, you talk of what's happening in, in America, you know, you know, you know, all the different things that are going on. Young people tend to be leading those and they're not asking. And they're not doing it because they're thinking, oh, this is a good thing to do. I'm going to change my world because it's great. They're just desperate because they realize if they don't make a difference, if they don't demand change, they don't have a future. So I'm seeing it more positively. The only question I ask is whether we're going to be responsible with it, that it's going to be economically, socially, and ecologically responsible.